Right, well this is my first ever film made when I was 13. A Quiet Day on the Game Reserve. Oh, didn't hold the title very long, did I? Right, oh no, a gazelle has had an accident. This is my opportunity, the man says. But it was all horribly overexposed. I didn't know how to use the camera. I was young. Super gazelle! Yes, that's right, super gazelle. Notice it didn't all fit on one sheet of paper. Oh well. And, of course, what would you do? Well, you'd take him into the lab, and you'd put a robot back leg on him, robot head, and you'd inject him with... Notice that the gazelle ends on the left. I, I didn't know what you could see through the viewfinder. It wasn't a very... It wasn't exactly what you see is what you get camera. Anyway, it, the, uh, it, having grown giant, it bursts out of the laboratory, or the Airfix uh, French farmhouse, Waterloo farmhouse, um, to be more precise, and then rushes off. Boing! But that's the style of animation used in Ivor the Engine. Ivor the Engine, so Welsh. Always jumping up and down with, with, with fury. And so that, that's an animated hand, you know, that wasn't full motion. Yes, of course, he launches a giant eagle. Well, wouldn't you? And the giant eagle swoops, fair swoops down on the super gazelle and... <coughs> well, so much for the giant eagle. It ran on and on until, that says. There he is. And, uh, oh, smash the mine head working lift shaft thing. That is actually Fort Apache, Airfix Fort Apache uh, lookout tower there. Uh, the matchbox car drives off to a, a stretch of 30 yards of road. Okay, what I saw through the viewfinder wasn't what I got. The, what I actually photographed was larger than what I saw. So you see uh, lots of... Oh, I love this. The kite breaks the, uh, the cable, but only one half of the cable falls to the ground. That only struck me as silly afterwards. Hey-ho. Kaboom! Of course, passed electricity into a giant robot gazelle, and it gets a bigger giant robot gazelle. A, a moderately good bit of animation here. The train... Psh, crunch! Derailed by a giant robot gazelle. And then you'll never, you'll never notice a bit of wire. I've painted it black. You'll never notice it. There you go. I quite like the way I get away with swapping from animation, like that's animated, and then this, this tilt up. That's not animated. That's the film going through the camera full speed. And then I cut back to... In a moment. Oh, I can't stand the suspense. In animation again. There you go. Uh, interesting tanks. Uh, you've got German tanks, Russian tanks, British tanks. Uh, all mixed together. Chap looking through his binoculars. That's a 132nd scale Africa Corps man. Oh, the classic binocular effect. Not actually the way real binoculars look when you look through them, but what the hell? It's a it's a cinema tradition. The tanks, which look so dusty. Why didn't I dust the models? Oh, one of them's turned into a corgi tank. <coughs> he fires. Ah, oh, didn't flinch at all. Do you see that? They all take aim. Bang. <coughs> yes, that's um, blue tacked on bits of uh, cotton wool with some poster paint on. <coughs> Bang! Kabang! 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 Bang! Boof! Got it! Bit of blood. Bit of gore there. And now we just fade and the end. But wait! You've got to have a logo, haven't you? Hey, there's our cat. 